know Though I don't know where I don't know what for I'll be leaving soon Well, shoot, that's a bummer. It's closed, we drove all the way up here. Folks, how you doing? My name's Dave. Welcome to Van Camp 402. We have a great adventure for you again today. Our first stop was supposed to be this. We were supposed to be up there and I was gonna show you a cool view. We do have, uh, as you can tell, clouds have us socked in pretty good. I was gonna hike up to the top and show you the view from up there. But that's all right, it's still a cool spot here. We're just off Interstate I-29 and Interstate I-80 and I will drop the map of our location right now. So for our adventure today, we are going to hit this on our list, a ghost town, a cool old cemetery, a hike, a whole bunch in store today. So appreciate everyone that's here. Let's go on this little adventure today and hopefully have a successful camp. Though I can't say how long, I can't say how far, I'll be leaving soon. Cause that road pulls on me far away from Tennessee. to Old Town Conservation Area. There are two different parking areas for this. It, and it's basically a wildlife management area is where we're at today. We are in Harrison County, Iowa. And I did talk with Mr. Nelson. I, I remember the last name for sure. He's head of the board. He's head of the area. Couldn't have been a nicer person. And thank you so much, Mr. Nelson. He said, yeah, definitely, please. Would love to have you out to camp. I even let him know I was gonna film for YouTube and all that, and he couldn't have been more excited about it. I always appreciate those types of things, and that's what I've said before in my videos. Just reach out, make a phone call. I didn't know if camping was gonna be legal here or not, and they basically treat it as a like state or federal wildlife management area, but it is county owned by Harrison County. But they uh, were totally cool about letting me stay overnight in the uh, parking lot up here. There are two different parking areas. We have stopped at the first one just because I wanna show you, it's so pretty over here, the view. We have some sketchy weather today, but we're gonna get out, walk over to this and check it out for you real quick. It's one of my favorites and one of my secrets, so don't tell I'll anybody. I'll be on my own. Suppose that's nothing new 
I don't. Don't come here. <laughs> uh, right now I'm going to just sit and chill a second, take in the views, take a few pictures. Then we'll get uh, get over and, well, no, we got one more. We got another stop to make yet. I got to show you the cool old cemetery. I'm watching. I can see a really big cloud bank. We have just rows of rain going past. I've climbed the mountains in Montana Danced in the lights of New Orleans Portland ran away with me And San Francisco stayed with me Nashville made its way in between Fell in love in Minnesota Fell apart south of Salt Lake Colorado calls to me And Washington will always be Begging for a piece of me to stay Maybe some things never change But I wanna know how it feels To hang pictures on a wall Sleep in the same bed at night I want reasons to stay Made it to camp. It's gonna be a good spot. It's nice having the van positioned on this side like this, completely out of the wind. It's actually kind of nice and warm right here, sheltered really well. I am uh, gonna get that awning put up, and then I'm gonna sit down. I've <laughs> been running all over filming all this stuff. But we're here, we're here in camp. We're at Old Town Conservation Area. Just kind of a pull off on a gravel road. But I'll take it. Sleep in the same bed at night I want reasons to stay I want someone to take up my time Miss me when I go I want a home Cause I have traveled across this country 
do you think? <laughs> if I get can't even get a hold of it. If I get it tied down, I think that thing's gonna blow away. Should I have even gotten this out? That was kind of crazy there for a minute. You think if I put the get everything attached and the guide wires in, we'll be good? Let's give it a shot, huh? It's probably gonna be about impossible to get set up. I don't have it the right way. I gotta turn it one more time. God dang it, I thought this made it all the way around. The joys of YouTube. I'm so worried about filming this. I'm gonna put the camera away and work on getting this thing put up right. I gotta spin, the, I gotta unhook both these, spin it one more time. I think we'll be all right. We'll give it a shot. Woo, that was a good catch. That is what it is. Huh. I'm not ready to freak out. Folks, <laughs> I'm admitting defeat on the tarp. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Every once in a while, there's like a 30 mile an hour gust. I keep trying to just get one pull in so it'll support and get a guideline down. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's so windy out here right now. We're putting the tarp away. I'm, I'm admitting defeat. I was like, I'm putting that thing up no matter what. I'm putting up, see like right now, the wind dies down for a second and it like lulls you into this false sense of security. All right, let's get this thing gathered up real quick. Uh, well, folks, I am admitting defeat. That tarp was not gonna happen. Man, it's quiet out here. It's so quiet. Kids should be getting out of school right now, so I thought maybe the gravel roads would have some, have some traffic or something. It really doesn't right now. And with the weather, I don't know that anybody will come out to hike. I do have a cool thing for this evening, Iowa women's basketball on, and I think it's pretty anticipated game. Iowa versus LSU, Caitlin Clark, see what she can do tonight. Let's go Hawks. For right now, we're gonna get settled in. I am gonna get the window screens up. I wanna try and keep the heat in. It's 55 in here right now. The temperature outside is like 43. It's gonna be a chilly night. I think tonight for heat, I'm just gonna do the buddy heater in the evening if we're in here hanging out. For sleeping, I'm gonna keep the buddy heater running until it gets really warm and then use the electric blanket. Tonight when I sleep, I should be totally fine. Out of the wind, it's only supposed to get down to like 31 or 32 or something tonight. We'll be totally fine and warm in here. Got a few things to do here yet. I'll check back in a little bit. I did, today on this camp, I did bring one luxury item. A uh, long time subscriber, great time friend, Got me this, I think, for my birthday. Birthday or Christmas one year. But man, this is the most deluxe camping chair ever. It's a challenge to get set up. I found if I put it on its side, boom. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, oh yeah. And it adjusts, you can like <laughs> lean back. Oh, that's, that's zero nap 30 right there. Yeah, I think we're just gonna leave this guy out here. Oh, this is perfect. Might have to slide just a little bit more out of the wind, but other than that. It's turned on. Nice. And we are gonna use this little blue heater for dinner tonight. We can get that plugged in. Hopefully it doesn't take too much juice. I did bring my generator if I need to charge the blue eddies at all or anything. Yeah, that's putting out some output. But we'll get, uh, let's get our mashed potatoes in here. All right, we're gonna stick these in. You want to cook them at uh, 350 for an hour? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even know what this thing cooks at. I am loving it though. I've 
evidently I didn't have it working right the first time or something. Man, now I just, it's awesome. That'll be ready uh, in a couple of hours. We'll have some warm mashed potatoes. Might as well show you folks what we're doing for dinner. Look at this. Prime rib hamburgers. Don't tell me that's not going to be good. We got the uh, buddy heater going. It is now 68 degrees in here. Just needed to take that edge off. My big bummer right now, I was going to watch the uh, Iowa Kate and Clark game on this TV. Guess what, folks? I switched TVs out. Oh, it's been probably three, four months ago. And obviously I haven't used it. I like this one, it's smaller. I didn't, I don't usually watch TV much anyway. But <laughs> evidently this is not a smart TV. So I am a dumb phone user. I'm trying to do the personal hotspot to get so I can watch it on the TV. And I can't. So this has been a really cool like paperweight riding around in my van. So I'm gonna get this all unhooked. I had it plugged in, trying to get everything all set up and we can't use it. So I'm gonna try and watch the game. I'd like to watch it on maybe my iPad. Maybe I'll stream to that, see if we can get it up on there. I'd like a little bit bigger screen. So that's my biggest dilemma in camp right now. This TV will have to come out of here for sure. Outburst, she got what she wanted. Those teammates went to the post players. Anissa Morrow, Angels got four points. We're about halfway, oh, I think we're halfway through the third quarter of the Iowa game. Buddy Heater for the win. Buddy Heater has just been, it's on low. It's 73 degrees in here right now. Couldn't be better. Got this little window cracked to let some fresh air in. Literally could not be more comfortable. I'm not getting the humidity that I used to get off of it. I don't know if I had too many windows open or what before. Been very happy with it. While the game is going on here, I am going to get the little table out and set up a cook station outside. We need to get those prime rib burgers going. Mashed potatoes are hot and ready. So we need to do the burgers and the gravy, and that'll be dinner. I think I'm gonna have to fire up the generator after a little while. The Blue Eddies, neither of them were at 100% when I came out here. I didn't think I'd need them that much. We're gonna cook with the propane tonight. Man, I'm looking forward to those burgers and some gravy. Boom. two coldest in camps this morning. The uh, buddy heater ran out and I don't even know what time. I fell asleep but I left, left the window cracked open just a little bit you know uh, like you're supposed to but it is chilly in here. It's showing 48 in here. It feels like it's 40. Very very chilly in here this morning. Well I hope you enjoyed the camp. I would show you outside. 
The wind is just howling. It's the rule of 40s today, I guess. Gusts are 40 miles an hour. Thankfully, that's pushing us home. It's just howling out there. It was a cold sleep last night. Thankfully, I had that uh, electric blanket. Sorry, I gotta get my socks on here. Feet are freezing. Uh, but thankfully, I had that electric blanket. That thing uh, kept me toasty warm in bed. I just didn't want to get out of bed. You guys have all had that in camp. You know, you're all tucked in. You're like, oh, I don't want to get out of here. It's cold. We're going to get up and get going on the road. I would like to get back here when it's nicer, and I can show you around the park a little bit more. It is a really cool place. Basically, just a wildlife management area. I don't know if you can tell. I'm pretty stuffed up this morning, too. I don't know what the deal is with that. Crazy spring weather. We're going to uh, run into Casey's real quick and get some coffee and get on the road here. Get moving. It's going to be a great day. Hear the silence as loud as I folks uh, enjoyed the camp a little cold a little windy didn't get out as much as i was uh, hoping to yesterday just uh, that basically kind of raining all evening our night hike we didn't make it very far we we did get out but not very far folks thanks everyone for being here we have an incredible incredible adventure coming up in our next episode hopefully it involves the sun and the moon and how they interact so we'll see how uh, see how our next adventure is I'm going to get out of here. I need to get rolling and get home this morning. Everybody take care. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you on our next one.